guys, welcome back to my channel, or should I say namaste? So today I thought I would share with you guys some of the souvenirs that I got from my trip to India. I was actually in India for two weeks and it was so crazy busy, but these are just a few of the souvenirs that I picked up along the way. So let's get started. These are in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab and go. The first souvenir is this elephant. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me when we reached the house in India because they know how much I love elephants. This is actually very, very heavy too. And it came with like tusks. You can actually take tusk out. The next souvenir is actually technically not like a souvenir souvenir, but you'll see. So when my husband was little, he used to eat this thing called ball ice cream and it's basically just ice cream that is inside of a ball. The kids would just eat the ice cream that's inside and then once they're done, they would have a little ball to play cricket with. So I thought that was so cute. So I wanted to try one myself and the ice cream in India actually tastes amazing. I don't know if it's cause it's so hot there, but wow, it's really delicious, very creamy and thick and oh my gosh, it was amazing. So I really like this. And I'm keeping this as a little souvenir. The place where I am from in India is called Kerala, which is also known as God's own country. It's very, very beautiful there. If you haven't been, you have to go. And if you ever do get the chance to go to Kerala, you have to go on one of the houseboats there. It's kind of like something that they're known for. And I got a little houseboat replica. It has like red velvet on the inside, like on the flooring and everything and it just looks so perfect. It just looks exactly like the houseboat. And if you've seen my mug collection video, then you know my obsession with mugs. So of course, I had to get a mug and it has an elephant on it, so I thought it was perfect. During our trip to Kerala, we actually took three days to go to the Golden Triangle. So we would fly to New Delhi and spend one day there. Then on the second day, we would go to Jaipur and on the third day, we would go to Agra and see the Taj Mahal. And on the second day, we actually got to ride elephants, which was so amazing for me. I Oh my gosh. As I said before, I absolutely love elephants. Oh my gosh love elephants but while we were in line to go on the elephant ride um there were like a bunch of people trying to sell us stuff and my husband ended up buying these hats for us to wear on the elephant ride it's actually for like a bride and a groom but yeah this is the female hat and this is the male hat and i like the male hat better i like the little fan and it looks so much more glitzy let's see if i can model this for you it's a little crooked but there it is. I feel like the blue one would match me better. This actually looks really good on my husband. Oh yes. I should totally incorporate this in my day-to-day -day wear. I also ended up getting a pashmina shawl. Pashmina is like a type of wool and it's just so soft. And it's also kind of like a double color, which I love. Um, it is like quite thin, but it does keep you warm, which is amazing. You can see like the little color flip. And then here's the other side. It's so beautiful. So this one is mine. And I actually got one for my mother as well as my mother-in-law. Yeah, I thought these would make great gifts. I hope they like them. These are so amazing, so soft. I love this. And I'm not really a scarf girl, but I can't wait to wear this out. So on the third day of our mini trip within our major trip, we went to see Taj Mahal, as I said. And of course, I couldn't come back without getting a little replica of the Taj Mahal for myself. It's so beautiful, I love it. If you have not seen the Taj Mahal, you are missing out. It was like a dream, oh my gosh. When we went, we went quite early, so it was still kind of like misty and foggy, especially since we went during the winter time, but it was so beautiful. It added to the dream effect of that whole view. I don't know how to explain it, but it was just, it was breathtaking. I, I literally gasped <laughs> when I first set eyes on it. it oh my gosh, I mean, it's just, so gorgeous and it brought like tears to my eyes if you have not seen the Taj Mahal in person wow I mean I, you must go see it it is so beautiful I just just everything about it everything around it <laughs> just it was it was amazing and that was truly the highlight of my trip I just I'm so glad I got to at least once in my life got to see the Taj Mahal so so beautiful oh so so beautiful i mean 
anyways so we got this little replica and you can actually put like a little light in here so it kind of glows from within so that's really cool so i love this this is actually living currently in my showcase and last but certainly not least probably one of if not the most precious thing that i got on the trip is this and i know it doesn't seem like much you're like what is she doing with a bunch of coasters wow these coasters are made from the same exact marble that they made the Taj Mahal from. It is called Makrani marble, I believe. It's like the top grade marble. And all of the design that you see on here, it's actually not painted on. These are actually semi-precious gemstones, the same semi-precious gemstones that were used on the Taj Mahal. So when the Taj Mahal was built, Shah Jahan actually had a bunch of workers that did all of this type of work, like the gem work for the Taj Mahal. And those families kept this artwork alive within their families alone so only this family knows how to do this type of artwork it's so beautiful they actually cut each and every little piece out and they carve it in there and then they glue it and they actually gave us a little like behind the scenes on how they did all of this artwork so that was really cool to see. I really, really appreciated that. It, it's just, it's a very, very precise work. It's crazy. If you look it up, it's, I mean, it's so time consuming. It just makes you appreciate the artwork even more because of how much time they took to create even just this little piece so we went to the store and this store is actually owned by one of the families so that was really cool we actually got a picture with the owner's son and everything it was so cool to see like i mean these are the descendants of the same families that built the taj mahan that was really special to me as well so when we were in the store we could either get like all of the same type or mix and match so i wanted a variety so i got this little bird as one of them and this particular stone which is on the Taj Mahal as well all of these stones are on the Taj Mahal like I said but this stone in particular when the Sun hits it it looks like it's on fire it's so incredible so I wanted to make sure I got this stone very very beautiful there's also this flower of course I had to get an elephant and I love this stone another flower the peacock of course my favorite bird and India's national bird, and of course, the Taj Mahal. <laughs> my husband was like, this is for my Mumtaz, which is, you know, Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal for his wife, Mumtaz. So my husband was like, this is for you. He's like, I can't afford the actual Taj Mahal, but at least I can afford like the little coasters made out of the same marble that Taj Mahal was built out of. So romantic. <laughs> Anyways, that completes my little India souvenir haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.